so you're probably asking olive are the scams that serious let me tell you fam let me tell you fam scams in cryptocurrency are no joke guys no joke Hi guys, hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Olive Nkirote and this is Olive Nkirote Rebranded. So first of all guys, I know you are expecting another video and I was like, you know what? Let me just shoot it and then guys, after this video, I will do the video, I promise. My previous video was all about airdrops and I know so many of you all were excited to learn about it. But I wanted to also do this video. If you haven't subscribed to ONR, fam, subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Let's get straight into this video. I want to talk to you about Binance. So if you are part of my crypto course or crypto classes then you 100% know about Binance because I teach how to leverage this platform in my course and I actually talk a lot about Binance in that class so if you're interested definitely check it out so because I know some of you guys from my classes are avid users of Binance and maybe some of you all are not avid users of Binance I want to just show you how you get started on this platform how to sign in and create an account but most importantly guys how to secure your account I have a whole video about it I will link that video in my description box or up on that link popping on my head so please guys make the time to do the necessary okay so in case you're not aware Binance is actually a big company and it is a company that offers services cryptocurrency based services i would say it is a platform where you can buy your crypto sell your crypto you can trade on the platform as well you can do futures like it has a lot guys it's a it's a big company a big yeah it's a big company and they even have their own coin which is the binance coin um denoted as bnb so you can definitely check out coin market cap and you see their coin is number three to be honest so yeah, a lot of countries can actually buy cryptocurrency from Binance. Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, Nigeria, Ghana, South Africa. I think those are the ones I can think of right now. But you can actually buy your cryptos from this platform. But anyway, so now let me show you guys how you create an account on Binance. It is very easy. I will show you how to sign up. And if you are looking to sign up on Binance as well, I will have my link on the comment section pinned and in my description box so guys please use my affiliate link guys it helps Binance know the people are brought onto their platform so just support your girl here for teaching you guys and yeah now we are on binance.com and then on your far right you click on register once you do that fill in the email spot and your password again guys I personally use ProtonMail because it's an encrypted email system so again after that uh, probably your browser will ask if you want to save your password just don't save it guys in case anything happens to your laptop in case of malware don't save it binance is going to send you an email verification code so go to your protonail account or whatever email you opened your binance with and go and copy paste the six digit code that they sent to your email and once you do that your binance account will be email verified so not completely verified but verified via email finance will open an account for you and if you can see it's now saying welcome to binance get started with your crypto journey open the email box of the binance you'll see confirm your registration welcome to binance here is your account activation code but they have legitimately outrightly told you there that the security tips they would like you to follow so most people often ignore this part and i'm just like you know cryptocurrency is digital money you know that so please you have to protect your money digitally as well so they've given you a few steps that i will go through each one of them as this video continues because guys as much as I want you to learn how to buy your crypto and invest in the cryptocurrency market it's as important to start and do these things the right way so you're probably asking Olive are the scams that serious let me tell you fam let me tell you fam scams in cryptocurrency are no joke guys no joke let me actually mention for you guys three common scams that I have come across in this world of crypto okay and it's something my partner went through it's called ransomware this is actually the first scam that i was 
introduced to into the crypto world so this was back in 2016 2017 my partner was busy trying to read about cryptocurrency so that time we were in school we weren't all that knowledgeable and he was busy just clicking links left right and center online so i remember that time there were games you could play and you win like satoshis so satoshis are the smallest units of a bitcoin so you would play and you win a satoshi or you can mine to juice satoshis using your computer but there were so many links at that time that were giving people opportunity to win bitcoin and in the event guys in the events he clicked some link that literally locked his laptop a hundred percent so from what i remember i think whatever he clicked kind of downloaded he tried to delete it it couldn't and then all this time they were watching him, watching what he does or watching what he works on. I am not a hundred percent sure, but all I remember is him waking up one day, trying to open his laptop and it's saying, you have been hacked, please send us G10 BTC to this address. Let me tell you guys, 10 BTC now is bloody expensive, but even that time 10 BTC was a lot. We are in school, where are you getting 10 BTC from? okay they start to negotiate they're like okay fine send us um five btc we're going to unlock your account he did not send send us at least three btc we're going to unlock your account and let me tell you guys they lock your data they lock your files they lock everything and when he said no on the last trial they literally wiped his laptop clean till today i do not understand what malware what virus that was but i honestly think it was a malware it was a virus and it's called a ransomware because they enter into your laptop they will lock your mobile or computer device from accessing all your valuable data and for you to access you would have to pay and that's why they're called a ransomware so obviously he did pay and obviously he lost all that work all those files had to disappear guys please don't click suspicious links please be wary of websites like i know you want to download things here and there on the internet make sure every time you're about to click a link ask yourself twice thrice you know am i willing to do this and if you're not sure and if you feel a like gut feeling telling you don't do it please don't do it and then also have backups of your computer and your hard drive just in case you ever have to download a malicious link on your laptop or your desktop just have backups because you never ideally know okay the second common scam that i have seen and i have also been reading about is phishing scams i have talked about this in so many of my videos guys so many of my videos but guys phishing scams exist so what is a phishing scam? Just the way the name says like phishing, like they're trying to fish out your content. Phishing is essentially an attack where a malicious person or business or whatever is posing as a legit company or is posing as a legit website. But in reality, they want to obtain your personal information and use that to actually log into the actual website. So phishing happens in many ways. There are things like email phishing, where even me as a content creator, I get emails of people posing to want to work with me. So you please download this. I'm like, you think I don't know? Ah, you click that link and that's it. They start now finding ways to hack your email, reset your password, you're locked out from your accounts guys so the solution from falling prey to phishing is don't click random links i think i've already talked about this guys please don't click random links and finally you can actually just bookmark the right slash correct link to your browser so personally i actually bookmarked all of them because child sometimes you're in a hurry the market is green you want to sell you're trying to log in quickly you could be logging in into the wrong account it is as easy as bookmarking and you are good to go the third one which is fake exchanges or fake websites is kind of the same thing because these phishing sites use fake websites or fake exchange platform um, pages to lure you to put in your data there and then they end up phishing that data and using it to actually log in into your platform so because now you know the three common scams and now because you have signed up to your binance account i want to show you the security steps that you need to follow please guys please i am begging you if you have opened an account on Binance or any cryptocurrency exchange platform and you have not done the security steps, 
So the first thing is I've told you never give your password to anyone. I have a video, I will repeat security steps you need to take care when you're opening cryptocurrency accounts. Step number two is never call any phone number for someone claiming to be Binance support. Okay, so I get this particular issue is normally you will realize that there are people who like to impersonate the company. So you can get either a random phone call or you can get a random email or someone is trying to get to you impersonating maybe they're the Binance staff. Counter check these things guys. And if you're doubting, you would rather even reach out to Binance themselves, look for their email, their contact support details. In, in short, what I'm learning from this is Binance does not have a phone number for you to call. So never be lured into calling a number in the name of that Binance support. I think for you to reach out to Binance support, there's an email. Or you can literally scroll to the bottom, bottom part of your page. And you're going to see support. Give us feedback, support center, submit a request, and all those things. So there's really no phone number here, guys. So if someone is trying to call you or trying to tell you that you should call, and they're trying to impersonate Binance staff, please question mark. Three is never send any money to anyone claiming to be a member of Binance team. This goes obviously against to any community guidelines in this world. No one should ask you for money for assistance on a platform. The fourth one is enable Google two-factor authentication, which I'm going to show you guys in a bit. All the security steps you need to do to actually safeguard your Binance account. And five, bookmark and use the verification domain uh, to verify the domain you're visiting i've repeated this guys binance is binance.com if you feel you might be in a high one day and click on the wrong url it is as easy as bookmarking that site so that the whole process is seamless for you so that is essentially the email you get from binance i know most of you guys ignore when you verify your email you're like i'm good to go let me just buy my crypto please secure your accounts so in this next part of the video guys i will go to my screen and i'll show you how to secure accounts using google two-factor authentication and a few other ways that you can incorporate into your account to keep it safe and to keep it away from scammers and online scams and people are just trying to mess you up okay okay so, guys welcome to my binance account okay so first of all guys this is not my actual actual binance account i opened an account just so that i can help you see and teach you show you the ropes about securing your binance account so if you can see it's already telling me i need to verify my account it is not verified because i've just opened it for the purpose of this video so yeah let's get on to me showing you guys how to secure your account so first things first you're going to click this icon of your face so if you can see here it's saying i'm um, unverified but you're going to come to security okay so first of all the verification process is important because it will help you be able to buy cryptocurrency on the platform so that is something you ought to learn and to do and if you see here above here they've shared with you there's 2fa there's identity verification there's anti-phishing code and there's withdrawal whitelist okay let me start with the bottom one because i think the bottom one is the easier one <laughs> so email address verification that's what we've just done and i've showed you guys i put in the six code from my proton mail and my account was verified so if you want to verify your phone number you will just come and click enable and then you're going to put the phone number that you're currently using and then it will send you a verification code and then it will also send you another verification code on your email and then you put it here and then click submit okay but that is how you would set up your email your phone number verification ah, yeah. then the, the third one is binance slash google authenticator so you come and click enable as well i clicked google authenticator and then i said next then i scanned this qr code okay and when you scan it like i told you guys it'll populate the website and then it'll once it does that and then you say next you need to save this backup key in a secure location and then you click next then it's saying now enable authenticator by verifying your account so again put your email verification code and then now put your authenticator code okay so now what will happen is you you're, you're doubling the the security levels for your account so make sure you do that okay 
and then now you click complete the fourth one is called a security key so a security key is essentially if you can see here it's saying protect your account with a security key so from my research this security key is like authy but a hardware version so this is the only thing i have not set up on my account yet and if you see i can't even set it up here until i finish the rest i have to finish the binance authenticator and the phone verification one hardware two-factor authentication so basically you have to i think install it on your desktop and then for you to access your account it requires physical access to yubikey as well so let's just say this is double, 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 double layer, okay? So that is mainly the two-factor authentication. Another important thing, guys, that you need to do. So once you do this 2FA, you need to do identity verification. So identity verification is you need to, it'll tell you to scan your face, I think upload your ID, KYC, and then eventually it's going to accept and once it verifies your identity, you are now going to even be able to purchase cryptocurrency from Binance. So in the event that you intend to use Binance and you want to buy crypto from this place, please make sure to do this and to come to identity verification and do that as well. Anti-phishing code. So anti-phishing code, when you scroll down, so this is 2FA and then 2FA has those four. So now we're entering advanced security. So first of all, your password is strong, the anti-phishing code. So anti-phishing code is basically protect your account from phishing attempts and ensure that your notification emails are from Binance only. So what happens is when you enable this, you're going to be given a code, like a code-like number and if you can see here, it's saying do not disclose your password, your Google authentication codes or SMS to anyone, including Binance support. Okay. And then it's saying here, once you've set your unique anti-phishing code, it will be included in all genuine Binance emails. And that's true. So personally for me, I have an anti-phishing code in my main account. And every time I get an email from Binance on my Proton mail, that anti-phishing code usually shows up in all my emails. So that is basically to show you that the emails you're getting are truly from Binance. And obviously if someone was trying to steal your account and you don't see that anti-phishing code, you'd just be like scam, scam. So guys, create your anti-phishing code, okay? So please, please, please do that. Aya. So the final one is the withdrawal whitelist. I'm not done the security key and I'm not done the withdrawal whitelist. So this is basically when this function is turned on, your account will only be able to withdraw to whitelisted withdrawal addresses. So this is good if you have particular addresses that you normally withdraw your money to. And if you have those particular addresses, you can just whitelist them. So even in the event someone was to come and try hack your other Binance account, they cannot be able to withdraw because Binance has already been told by you that these are the only addresses you're going to be withdrawing from and I honestly think it's a very very good thing to do so again when this function is turned on your account will only be able to withdraw to whitelisted withdrawal addresses so safeguard your your exchange platforms guys please another tip that i've recently learned is depending on your browser some browsers have now incorporated warnings whereby if you're going to a website that is fishy you will see a warning i've seen this on chrome and i've seen this on my current browser brief you see a warning saying this site is you know it's not the best like it's not secure something like that like a pop-up or something usually do not feel the need to still go ahead. I mean, your browser is even updating you that this site that you visited is fishy, fishy. So if you get those warning signs, guys, definitely pay attention to them. So this is something I just remembered and it's a tip I think that can help you prevent all those things. So the tip is upgrade your browser, guys. Anyway, that is it for today's video. I want to say thank you for being here. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know I owe you an airdrops part two video and I will in the next one. And for now, guys, I want you to definitely go to my description box, go to my pinned comment section. And if you are not part of Binance, this video has helped you set up your account because this is a video about Binance. I am going to list some references on my description box. So if you are looking to read more about cryptocurrency scams, read more about keeping your security safe on Binance. I will happily link those links in my description box. Definitely check them out because I feel like you will learn a thing or two and probably even more than what I could share in this video. Otherwise guys, thank you so much for being here. I want to remind you to start where you are, use what you have and do what you can. Mwah!
Bye guys, see you on the next one.